In assembling carts for linear magnetic motor tracks, I've found that G-gauge train wheel assemblies contain at least a small amount of metal. My previous cart had a base composed of aluminum. Anything ferromagnetic disturbs the electron flow of the magnetic fields between the cart and the track magnets, while paramagnetic metals can cause eddy currents. I would just rather remove these variables from the equation, so I built a simple cart for the preceding series of tests. The bearings aren't quite as smooth as I'd like, but the slight drag that makes it harder for the cart to enter a magnetic assembly also makes it more difficult for it to be drawn back into the assembly at the exit point. So the variance is compensational to a cart with less drag that is easily drawn back into the track after exiting it. So through the process of building and testing various magnetic assemblies blending Halbrook style assemblies with Howard Johnson's track and cart configurations, I didn't come up with a configuration that I was completely satisfied with. However, I did discover a new magnetic effect with some interesting characteristics. This discovery alone was exciting enough to be worth the time and research I put into this video. So the new effect I discovered is a looped monopole wave. Instead of the oscillating north-south pattern you get with a standard Halbrook array, what you basically get with this assembly is a monopole pattern, with only north poles on one side and south poles on the other. It also amplifies each magnetic field in the configuration by focusing the spins of the electrons from the three sections of magnets into a single one polarity field pattern, much stronger than a single magnet would produce. The front of the assembly produces a steady stream of north magnetic flux, while the back side produces waves of south magnetic flux between the canceled south pole areas of the assembly. Lifting the pole detector slightly above the magnetic assembly causes it to read only north poles. That's because the side facing the car has extended arrangements of magnets with north fields protruding out of the magnetic assembly toward the car, which though you can't see it, creates an extended or secondary north wave pattern over the assembly. Now obviously you can also achieve a monopole magnetic field pattern by simply placing magnets on a sheet of magnetic shielding with their magnetic poles all facing in the same direction. The drawback to this method is that there's still an attraction to the shielding material by the cart or rotor magnets, if you are attempting to build a rotary or a linear magnetic motor, and the magnetic field of the single magnet is much weaker. Using a looped monopole wave pattern cancels the field almost entirely between each magnetic wave. By alternating the pattern from side to side, you come up with a track composed entirely of north or south waves, interlocking, fitting perfectly together or you could simply flip the track magnetic arrays and vary them from north to south, having only the north on one side and the south on the other, something you cannot do with the Halbrook array. I found that the looped monopole wave assembly doesn't work the same way if you alter the assembly to equal length width configurations. Look at some of the strange magnetic effects that this type of assembly exhibited. Now I also tried several different assemblies for the card magnets as well as the stator magnets. One of the more interesting was this one. I used metal shielding between each series of magnets rather than effectively canceling every other section along the track. This produced a south pole reading on the pole detector around each shielded area, as well as an interesting pattern on the magnetic film. There really are so many variables and possible ways you can assemble a magnetic cart or track. I find it's better to just play around with it and have fun. Not everything functions or comes together exactly the way you plan, but it's almost always interesting seeing what does happen. And you can learn from everything you try, provided you document and study it. Which is really what this channel is all about. Thanks for watching.